Hey guys, it's DC here and today I want to talk to you about how you can become a certified cybersecurity professional for under $5,000. Now, I know you're probably thinking five grand sounds like a lot, but when you compare it to something like university or college or whatever you want to call it, wherever you come from, it's pretty cheap. Also, considering that a lot of these jobs pay at a starting wage of around 80,000 Australian dollars, um, which I think is like 60,000 US, give or take, it's a, it's a pretty good deal, to be honest, to get into a job. And uh, doing these certifications is probably only going to take you one year to complete anyway, maybe even less, depending on how hard you study. So there's something worth mentioning here, which is that I'm focusing on more of a defensive security position rather than uh, an offensive security position. But I will cover that at the end because I believe that uh, as a, an offensive security professional, you need to have a little bit more experience and certifications to get into it. So let's get straight in. The first certification you're going to want to get is a Comp TIA Security Plus. Now doing this certification is great, but I'm assuming here that you have some prior knowledge before getting into cybersecurity. For example, if you haven't done anything in IT ever before, maybe have a look at the CompTIA A plus certification. It's usually looked down upon as a, a lower level certification and it is. It's meant for people who are fresh out of uh, high school and they uh, don't really know that much about IT. They just did the computer studies and ICT courses in high school, which is great. It's a good first step, but it's that little bit extra, you know, a little bit extra, you know, sugar on top of the, the cherries, if you know what I mean. So yeah, if, if you are just coming straight out of high school, do a CompTIA A plus first, then have a look at the CompTIA Security Plus. Now there's a bundle on the CompTIA website, which is the basic bundle. It's 499 US dollars and it comes with the exam voucher, a retake exam voucher, just in case you fail the first time, as well as the official uh, CompTIA Security Plus Study Guide uh, book, which is definitely worthwhile having um, to be able to pass this exam. Now, do you need to do any additional study on top of that? Not really. When I did it, I read through this study book, I did the exam and I got it. It's not a particularly hard examination to take and as far as examinations go it's so worthwhile 500 bucks for a certification that's pretty much gonna put you ahead of the rest in the field who are trying to get in yeah i'd i'd consider that worthwhile the next certification you want to get is the ccna 2020. now it's around 500 to 700 dollars depending on where you do the examination i was going off the price on pearson view which was 650 australian dollars now with that you do get a one week training course as well as the booklet to read before that training course and you get to do labs and stuff like that while you're there now that that seems pretty worthwhile to me and a lot of the time people getting into this certification have already been working in it in like a help desk environment or at a managed service provider or something uh, on the calls taking the calls and doing the tickets and all that fun stuff so they've already got some prior experience before getting into the ccna and i know this is like a super networking focused certification and that's that's the whole idea basically it's uh it's more of a like a fallback option to get you into network engineering or maybe into like a, a level two or level three help desk position where you're not just solving problems for resetting people's passwords and stuff like that. You're actually troubleshooting switches and doing, you know, fun network engineering stuff. It also helps out with cybersecurity down the line. And I firmly believe that the CCNA is probably one of the most globally recognized certifications in IT for people wanting to break into the industry. It's a great certification to have. It's you know, 600 to 700 bucks ish, give or take. So we're, we're looking at, you know, so far, we're at about $1,100. We're well under the $5,000 limit. Now, to be honest, that's all you pretty much need to get into a job in cybersecurity, as far as certifications go anyway. Tie this in with a few years experience on a, a help desk or at a managed service provider, or even working for an IT company that you know, does home repairs, stuff like that. Whatever it is in IT you're doing, it really doesn't 
matter that much as long as you have some sort of corporate experience or even just break fix experience working at a computer shop maybe fixing computers if you can get that experience behind you and do these certifications when you go to a job interview you're more likely to get a job based off the experience than you are the certifications now a lot of people who are getting into IT and cybersecurity in particular have a degree and that's great and it is of course better to have a degree than to not have one but for those of you who maybe don't have the money or you're on a really uh, tight time frame and you, like you've just come out of another job and you were maybe doing programming before and you want to get into cybersecurity now you've sort of changed your passion slightly um, that's fine just do those certifications that I mentioned the CompTIA Security Plus and the CCNA 2020 and you should be able to get a job in cybersecurity or at least network engineering. So it's yeah, it's pretty much as easy as that to be honest, but let's talk a little bit about offensive security for a second, not just uh, like a blue team environment working in a SOC team or as a security analyst. I want to talk about those pen testers out there, the you know, the ethical hackers. So previously I would have mentioned that a CEH is a great certification to have. However, they have just almost doubled their certification price and it was previously like a, you know, it's an okay cert, but it's a bit of a waste of time to be honest. Now that it's so expensive, it's about $900 to become a certified ethical hacker. And um, it's just not worth it to be honest. The cost of an OSCP is $950. Why wouldn't you just, buy, why wouldn't you just do the OSCP instead of doing a CEH? I think it's probably better to buy a little bit of you know, the coursework on the OSCP from Offensive Security. Take that coursework, study harder on that, forget about the CEH. It's it's just a waste of time these days. I, I don't know if any employers out there are actually looking for someone with a CEH. I know the places I've worked at certainly weren't. Saying that though, most of the places I worked at are blue team environments though, so, you know, take that into consideration. But yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. So if you want to become a defensive security professional, do the CompTIA Security Plus, followed by a CCNA 2020 edition. And if you want to then get into offensive security, do an OSCP on the top of that. If you guys found some value in this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.